Okay. Yay, we're at 9.30. I got four people. Woo, woo. That's a big deal. So I love you guys, my four people. If you can, tell me who's out there, where you're from. That would be great. Now go ahead and continue. Um, and so a lot of this stemmed from me loving teachers and me wanting teachers to be successful in the classroom. And knowing that many times our success is being judged Many times what we do is being judged, it's being monitored, and you just need support. And so when I developed this program, it was the hope that every teacher would get the support they needed. I've talked to a couple of people in India. Everything I do is to support education and support teachers in the classroom. I want to make it so that my mission is to ensure every teacher gets what they need in the classroom without it being punitive. Let's go ahead and start. So what I have for you guys is the one word resolution. Um, but I did want to plug my class. So shameless plug, I have a course coming up. It starts on the 13th. Um, and so I hope you are able to join. If not, I hope you tag somebody who it will benefit. It's kind of um, a hands-on method of supporting teachers and giving feedback giving ongoing feedback. So what I do is hold your hand and give you the steps to give accurate feedback. Um, and so it's called Open Ears, Open Mind, and I'll show you that before the end. And I have four face-to-face -face Zoom meetings, which is so important because we, I show a video and then we give feedback. Um, and so the first lesson is on positive feedback. What, even in the worst teachers, you could find something positive to say based on data. And so that is what it's about. And so with this class, I hope you, like I said, I hope you either join or tag somebody, you know, it's uh, five credit hours for your certification. So professional growth points, you get the certification. Um, we role play. I have handout sentence stems for like scaffolds for you who need the um, support. And um, like I said, first week, I talk about getting into that classroom. You need to get in. You need to make friends, especially if you're an instructional coach. And so, and um, with this class, you'll have 24, 48 hour support, anything you need. I hope you join. It's a great opportunity to get kind of something under your belt for the year coming up. And I give you the confidence necessary for you to give feedback for teachers. Uh, like I said, tag a friend if you, um, if you know somebody or you think that will benefit them. So, and by the end, I'll show you kind of what the class looks like. Okay. So this year, what are we talking about? You may say, Cassandra, you are crazy. No, no, no. I am talking about habits, right? How do you make a drastic change in 2020? What does that mean? Um, how do you create a habit? Um, thumbs up if you're ready to create a habit 2020. This is your year. This is you ready. I'm ready to have a great year. And so most of this comes from the blog and it's called that I wrote. It's called, um, do you want drastic change this school year? And then try the one word resolution. Um, so the one word resolution talks about how do you make a lasting impact, um, towards kind of the person you want to be. What is the one word that will define you in the years to come. And so as educators, we wear many hats, right? I can think of all the hats I'm wearing. Can you type in or tag or like put in the notes, what hat do you wear? We get consumed in the multiple hats we wear, right? I'm a wife, I gotta cook, I gotta feed my kids, I gotta feed my family. Um, I'm a mother, um, I'm an educator. I'm a coach to people. Um, I consider myself a leader to some. Um, a mentor, a tutor, all these things that we're doing and then we rarely think about me. I think it's time to think about you. What do you think? This one word is something you focus on, right? And something that will help change your life for the better. Step number one, first identify who. I think I told you that. Who is the characteristic or the person that has that quality that you're looking for, right? and some of the characteristics of that and of what you want to become. And so I'm gonna give you a couple of examples and then two, pick the word that reflects what you wanna change. A few years back, my word was healthy. And so what that looked like is I'm thinking, how can I be healthy? 
eventually it transcends to your family. And so I stopped buying those bags of chips. So I would not buy pop, I would not buy chips, treat. Um, I stopped looking for the closest parking space. So I got a couple more steps in. I just started eating smaller portions. That kind of became kind of what I stood. And then, so then I carried on to my school and my classroom. This was a while ago when we had indoor research. Do you remember Billy Blanks? Billy Blanks was the Tybo guy. Kind of on rainy days, I would put in that tape. So eventually we did Tybo for the school because everybody was interested. Uh, I wrote a grant that year to, and it, it turned out to be a $150,000 grant to the Nutrition Network in Los Angeles. This was a grant to bring healthy food to the school. I worked hard on that grant, so I got the grant. They would bring fruits and you know vegetables and different things and to where we were cooking in the classroom and I mean students would have bok choy and then be in the grocery stores and say mom I've tried some bok it was a whole big movement based off of my one word help if you want to make a change to have a growth mindset or to just do something different then I would highly suggest the one word I Cassandra Williams am going to commit to helping and so I challenge you to get your one word and to not focus on it so much, but to make it a part of your life.